Hello. As for my last video, it's so fucking hot in Los Angeles. It is over 100 degrees and I don't have air conditioning. So I'm sitting in my bathtub in ice cold water <laughs> reading a book. <laughs> what book are we reading? We're reading Autobiography this week, which is a book that a photographer friend of mine who I have worked with, um, if you've seen my stuff on Instagram, book is partially based on interviews with him about his childhood growing up religious and then becoming not religious. Um, and I'm really excited to read it because I like reading stuff based on friends and their experiences. Um, but yeah, so let's read in the bathtub today and avoid the 110 degree heat in Los Angeles. I'll give you context in a second, but um, my friend and I, this week on the vlog, my friend and I are in Joshua Tree. We're teaching um, a week-long pole, uh, pole classes in Joshua Tree. I'm exhausted. We just got here. It's like 11.30 p.m. Um, but look at the bedroom that I am staying in, you guys. It is all blue and so fucking cute like this is gorgeous anyway i'll, I'll show you in the morning good night <laughs> Okay, so I am back home from Joshua Tree. Um, I did not vlog very much just because um, I was doing a lot of teaching. It was really fun. The students were absolutely lovely and it made me so happy. And it was just really cool to like teach at a different studio and just like see, you know, just see what it's like to like be an instructor at like all kinds of different studios. Also, it was just wonderful. Um, and I love my traveling partner, Rebecca. She was incredible. She's one of my teachers. Um, so it was really fun to get to teach alongside her and it was great um the book <laughs> so the book's really fucking good um i'm about 100 pages in so far um our main character is not from um he's not a mormon he is from california he was out as bisexual in california but not out in utah because his parents moved to utah for work um and he's like friends with Mormon kids and there's like a bunch of shit. He's met an older boy who is a TA in his writing class. Um, and um, there is feelings. Yeah, but so far it's just a harmless crush, but I'm wondering if, I I'm hoping, I'm, sh I'm shipping it hard. I'm shipping it hard. Um, I'm really interested to talk to my friend after this and like, just to get like, because I w it's really fun to read something that you know is based off of someone you know. Because I want to, I just want to know more. I just want to know, like, what is taken from his life and what's not taken from his life. And, like, what's fiction. And, like, I want to know more. Anyway, it's been really fun. I'll update you in a little bit. And I just say, their friendship in the beginning of this book is so cute. Also, I love that, um, I love that Tanner's family, like, actually just accepts himself um tanner is the main character that moved to utah from california they like actually accept him and support him um and i love him um also sebastian who's the the mormon the mormon kid who's tutoring him is just so like well-intentioned and sweet and also so far very chill about him being bi I think they're into each other, I'll let you know, but they're really cute. It's so good. 
It's very heartwarming so far. It's quite a, like, it's a comfort read, and it also, so far, I'm only, like, that far into it, um, and it very much reminds me of home, um, because I grew up in a tiny town in Montana, so, you know, lots of religion, not a lot of queers. <laughs> Something that I'm really enjoying with this book is the comparison and contrast of family values and the way that so far now I'm only on page 192 Sebastian still has not come out yet so you know they're just now romantic oh my god the hike scene the hike scene my heart anyway um it's interesting how both the very liberal accepting non-religious but hereditarily Jewish family the love they have for their son so far is seeming very similar to the love with the that's in the Mormon family and I'm very much enjoying the juxtaposition I also enjoy that they're exploring the implications of what happens to a Mormon teenager's life when they go on a mission for two years their life just stops for two years. Like, what the fuck? Um, Y'all, we are two days away from Halloween season. Look at this fog rolling in. Usually I can see a shit ton of LA at this view. Look at this fog rolling in. I should be, I should be reading Stephen King right now. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like a, a, a fake horror fan. I'm not reading the fog as this bullshit's rolling in. Anyway, um, I am three-fourths of the way through this book. I love it. Um, I really enjoy the way that, like, because um, Tanner's parents, um, his dad is Jewish and his mom is um, an ex-Mormon atheist. Um, and they are exploring kind of the parallels of, like, when his dad and mom got married and the way that his dad's family treated him and the church treated him because he was marrying, he was marrying someone who wasn't in the Jewish faith with the way that the Mormon faith would treat Sebastian should he and Tanner publicly shack up and not, not be sneaking around. Not, not be not more sneaking around. That was awful. No more sneaking around. I like it a lot. It's, this is such a damn good book. Um, but yeah, here's the fog. Happy, happy spooky season. That was so good, you guys. I finished it. I cried a lot. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. This book brings up some really hard stuff about religion and its association with the queer community. But I do enjoy the fact that it doesn't demonize religion. It realistically points out the places where religion and the queer community cra or clash and the places where they're similar. And I think it's a really beautiful love letter to, on it was a, lo a beautiful love letter to the reader, to be honest. It's also a really good reminder that the only person we really owe genuine, honest, unconditional love is ourselves. It's also a wonderful reminder of the importance of words and the importance of how we treat ourselves as we travel through life. Um, I wanna read it again. I wanna restart it. I just want to restart it and read it again, and it, it's so good. So, thank you, Matt, for telling me about this and letting me get to know you a little better. I can't wait to talk to you about this in person. Um, <laughs> and thank you guys for coming along on this vlog. Um, please pick up Autobiography. This is such a damn good book. And it's very important, especially for young queer people out there. Um, I think every queer person has lived as one of the characters in these books. Um, and it's very important, I think, for young people to see that represented. 
know that they're not alone, you know? Anyway, thanks for sticking around and helping out. This has been the Bye Book Boy, and I'm saying bye.